Hello and thanks for joining today. In this video, what we're going to look at is creating a new network connectivity between two servers. So that is uh, essentially two Linux servers using static network configuration. The topology we're going to use is what you're seeing on your screen just now. Uh, we, we've got node 1 and node 2 at uh, as the two servers we're going to use. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and turn on your notification to get more content similar to this. So let's dive in. The first thing uh, we'll do is to verify what IP configuration we have already on these two nodes. So uh, node one is the is this server one here so we can check host name is just server one dot home dot local for instance uh, ip address is one and one six eight dot sixty four dot twelve so for it to be able to talk to the second node which has an ip address of uh one and one six eight dot twenty dot three uh, we need to assign the IP address uh, on this on this host uh, statically. So we have two options of doing that. We can use the NMTUI, the text user interface, network manage, uh, manager, the text user interface to do that, and then the CLI. Let's let's briefly go through this. So to do this, you enter an NMTUI and uh, edit a connection. So edit a connection. The connection is already there. You go to edit. What you want to change is uh, from automatic to manual. Uh, you want to assign a manual IP. Then go to show the address. That's the IP address you want to assign. So the address you want is 192.168.20.3. Three slash twenty four. Let me uh, verify this from that will be twenty dot two because the other end is twenty dot three already. So twenty dot uh, dot two slash twenty four. Then the gateway is one nine two one six eight dot twenty dot one and DNS server is uh, 192.168.20.100 and then that's it so you can save this if you if, if you've got a requirement for assigning a host name as well you can do that uh, by going back so go back you can see here it says set host name so let's let's do that uh, host name is server one dot lab dot local so that would be server one dot lab dot local uh, that's it so you say okay yes it's been changed then to bring this up you can either restart or reboot your system or activate the uh, connection so you can deactivate and activate again this is basically restarting the connection the network connection essentially so you say okay now your ip address should be yes now we've got if config you can see it's now 1916.20.0 and if you check the the host name if you check the host name you see the server one dot lab dot local that that has changed so we should be able to get to 192.168.20.3 which is the other server yeah that's successful so that's that's one way of doing this Another method of um, doing this is using the nmcli uh, command. So you're trying to add a new connection. So let's let's do that. Uh, nmcli 
connection so you're trying connection add you're trying to add a connection and what's the type of connection you want the, the type is ethernet and what's the ip address you want to add so the command is ipv4 ipv4 addresses uh, the address is 192.168.20 since we've used uh, 2 already let's say 20.4 uh, slash 24 then gateway ipv4 dot gateway the gateway will be 192.168.20.1 there's no need uh, to no need of changing that so then uh, dns we need dns as well as well ipv4 dot dns so the dns ip is 192 dot the dns address is 192.168 uh 192.168.20.100 we can give the connection well ideally we should so let's call the connection eth um zero it can be anything eth zero and we can have um, the name of the interface that is going to uh, be used for this connection so ENPS ENP uh, EMP let me see it should be a EMP 0 S6 EMP EMP 0 S6 so what method do we want to connect uh, using so it is either um, non or auto so non is the same thing as uh, manual so non then do we want this uh, connection to auto connect at uh, startup yes we do so that's the command it's uh, it's pretty long but if you understand the um, properties of a typical connection that's essentially it uh, what's the ip what's the subnet what's the dns uh, what's the gateway uh, what's the name of the connection how do you want to connect so that's it so if we hit enter you can see it says connection eth0 successfully added you can use nmcli um, connection show to see that connection eth0 is it's there but it's not active so you can bring it up by using nmcli um, connection up what connection do you want to bring up eth0 so eth0 it's up successfully now if we do nmcli uh, connection show you can see eth0 is up it's uh, now the active uh, connection and if we check the ip address ifconfig you can see it's 192.168 192.168.20.4 that's the ip address now we should be able to talk to the other server since we are now on the same network 192.168.20.3 yep uh, that's it that's it basically so yeah that's uh that that's that's all for this you can see let me go back to this image so now we are on this server with uh, an ip address assigned uh, we changed that the first method we used we assigned the 20.2 and then the different the method using nmcli we used um, 20.4 for that and um, we we're able to talk to the other server which well they are connected to same network so that's um, basically it for this um, uh, video thanks again for watching and please do subscribe and turn on your notification for similar content see you in the next one bye bye